Dr. Trace Murphy, and I'm a lecturer in molecular biology and bioinformatics at the Technological University of Dublin. I recently just returned back um, to work from maternity after having my first child. As a teenager, I love both science and mathematics. They were my best subjects in school. I love learning about how the body works and, and also solving puzzles. So I knew from an early age that a career in science, in particular genetic research, was for me. It merged my two passions together. I really was. When I was in school, I wrote a historical essay on twice Nobel Prize winner Mary Curie. She inspired me greatly. It was impossible not to feel awed by the bravery and passion that Marie Curie must have had in order to excel in such a male-dominated field at the time. She accomplished so much and she did so define gender, class and racial prejudices nearly every step of the way. I just found that truly inspiring as a young student. So I'm really interested in understanding how our genes work and what happens to them when somebody develops a mental illness, for example, like depression. My scientific field is called epigenetics. Epi meaning above or beyond genetics. This is the study of chemical tags on your DNA that help fine tune how genes are actually turned on and off. I'm interested in how this process can go wrong in mental illness and how we might actually be able to fix it. I love that every day is different. You're constantly learning new things. Being a scientist allows you to travel the world and, and meet like-minded scientists, which can often lead to new and exciting research collaborations. I love telling people I'm a scientist. They are always surprised. I hope that my research will one day inform how we diagnose and treat mental illnesses, like depression, I also hope that through my teaching, I inspire the next generation of scientists and who knows what wonderful things they might invent, identify or cure. In 10 years time, I hope to be a full professor, leading a small team of wonderful scientists deciphering the epigenetic landscape of mental illness. I hope to be a world leader in the field. And I hope that my research will one day help people who suffer from mental illness. I think science benefits from great minds and diversity of thought. When women are discouraged from a career in STEM, the field and the world suffers. Some of the greatest female minds of all time are profoundly influential in the sciences and technology. Now more than ever, we need every bright mind to feel that they can pursue a career in, in the sciences without any hurdles in their way. I think it would be not to be afraid to speak up about your knowledge and thoughts on a subject. I wish when I was a young student, I asked more questions at school and conferences throughout my academic career. Although I've always found this tricky to do in my career, I've had great opportunities come to me from asking questions at courses and conferences when I actually plucked up the courage to do so. I wish I'd done this more in my career. Remember, no question is ever stupid. When I was young, I never thought much about the stereotypes that science wasn't for girls. I was really fortunate that my parents always encouraged me to pursue my academic dreams, whatever they might be. And so when I was a young girl, I said, I think I'll be a scientist. And that's what I did. It was a lot of hard work, but I never doubted that I could be a scientist one day. If people do try to tell you that, career, that a career in STEM is just for boys, ignore them, safe in the knowledge that they are wrong and remember all the wonderfully inspiring women in STEM that came before.